That means you are also right to condemn Mohammed for his part in trading black people. And if you can condemn my ancestors, you can damn well condemn Mohammed. Peace at what cost? Should we accept the trading of black children in Africa for the sake of peace? There are lots of good Muslims who don't do bad things, but they do it because they're not following Islam. A lot of people get sidetracked. Just because we say, all right, I killed one person, but there's hundreds of people dying over there, that doesn't take away from the fact I'm a murderer. I may be trying to uh, distract you from that fact, but it's still a fact nevertheless. Yeah? So now, I'm going to show you again. In terms of. Um, you did it again, you was like, oh yeah, they used the word Messiah, so he acknowledges that um, Islam acknowledges Prophet Muhammad, I mean, they acknowledge Jesus as the Messiah, but he's saying, oh, but they don't know what the Messiah is. Do you get what I'm saying? So again, we're undermining someone else's intelligence, and unless you speak Arabic, you can't say what they think. So the Messiah you means. It says God that's not fair. That's a what well, that is. So that's kind of a narcissistic approach to believe that you know more words, than them to I even know, know what they understand without trying to understand them. That's narcissistic behavior. I'm not saying that you're aware you're doing this, but I'd point it out just so you can rectify that approach towards your study. Do you understand? So now, when, when we're talking about these prophets at the end of the day, yeah? the prophets never, not one of them, because I can go and show you how. Um, you're not sure. Prophet okay, Muhammad, peace be upon him, he set the slaves world. free. He says, God loved the world yeah? so much. I can show you that he set slaves now, free. Believes, Does that mean that I can't bear witness to other atrocities that happened? Lord Jesus Christ. No, I'm not ignorant. Lord Jesus Christ. However, Lord Jesus Christ. I can show you that he set slaves yeah. free. Yeah. You can bear witness to Bilal and all these people. Do you understand? But the point that I'm trying to make here is that I believe there's too That's much bashing. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's practice. It's good practice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let, let, let me just let me just deal with this. Messiah is a Hebrew word. Okay. Right. It's not an Arabic word. Okay. So I don't need to know Hebrew. We don't need to know Arabic to know what the Messiah is. We need to know Hebrew. And and the reality is that I you can also go and ask Muslims. What does it mean for Jesus to be a Messiah? And I've done that, and I'm telling you, they don't know. They have an answer, but it's completely disconnected to the Old Testament and the New Testament understanding of the Messiah, which is just another demonstration of why Islam is not an Abrahamic faith, because they don't even have the same concepts in the same way. The Messiah is a divine figure. He stands in the place of Yahweh. He does what Yahweh does, but he's also a man. And that's appropriate because it's Christmas and so we're talking about the incarnation. <laughs> now, what I would say to you, bro, is if you recognize something is unjust and if you recognize that something is true, have the inner strength within you to take one label off and put a new label on. Drop the label Muslim and have the strength to pick up the label Christian. Now, in terms of, in terms of, um, in terms of, uh, I, I kind of forgot your your other points. So, um, I, yeah, I forgot your other points. So I'm just going to talk about another point myself. In terms of, sorry, in terms of injustice, yes, Mohammed set slaves free, but he also traded in black slaves. Now, black people rightly condemn my ancestors for their part in the slave trade. And you're right to do that. That means you are also right to condemn Mohammed for his part in trading black people. And if you can condemn my ancestors, you can damn well condemn Mohammed. And if you are going to condemn Mohammed, then he isn't a prophet for you to follow. Yeah, that's it. Right. For starters, 
<laughs> time. <laughs> Got to start your time. Okay. You brought us some points. I'll bear with this. However, again, Christianity is no better. You keep trying to say, oh yeah, come to Christianity, like it's offering something in addition. There's nothing in addition. In fact, all I'm doing is taking steps backwards because before, like you said, before imperialism in in uh in in the Middle East, there was nothing but holy crusaders killing people and putting them on the cross because they wouldn't be Christian. This is a fact. You can't get away from it. So I wouldn't suggest the you should put one religion over the other because, again, that's a crazy piece of ignorance and I think it's very toxic. I'm going to keep pointing this out because that's not peaceful in the slightest. Understanding is the only way we're going to get through peace. Peace can only come by way of understanding because if you do not understand, and you brought out some good points, I'm going to touch these. Messiah is a Hebrew word. But what about where the language Hebrew came from? You're talking about our uh, us Muslims what the Arabic definition of Messiah is and they haven't got one or they don't give you the accurate one. But how many Christians know Hebrew? Not a lot. So again, you're making points that are fair, but they're not in totality uh, fair because they're very biased. They were, they're, they're insinuating things that are not true. Do you understand? Okay, so I think the only way we can really get through this is if we do have a concordance along with a, uh, the, 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 the Arabic rendition to the scene. Okay, so just before I start my turn, would you like my coat? Because you look like you're freezing. Would you like my coat? No, when I get too cold, you know. Okay. All right. Sure. Are you sure? <laughs> Take it for a little bit. Go on, go on, go on. I'm telling you. I'm for a little bit. Go on, I'm good. I'm good. Just warm up, man. Right? Cool. All right. Yeah, you're cool. I mean, we can tell you're cool. <laughs> you look frozen. All right. Are we ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Okay. So the first thing that you, you mentioned is how is Christianity better than Islam? Christianity is better than Islam intellectually. It makes sense in a way that Islam doesn't when you, you uh, examine it. It's better than Islam morally because Islam teaches injustice. It is better than Islam culturally because it created a civilization that, that everyone fleed to, not fleed from. And it is better than um, um, Islam politically because it creates systems that, 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 that people want to live under. You know, as we saw when the Taliban retook Afghanistan. We live in a reformed Christian world. The second point that I would make is that, is that um, the Crusades, let's be clear, the Crusades were a response to 700 years of continuous Islamic aggression. Christians did not go and attack the Muslims. The Muslims attacked Christians and have done for 1400 years. It wasn't just the Christians decided to go on crusade one day, it was that Muslims had invaded Christian lands. And it wasn't just European Christians that fought against those Muslims. Ethiopian Christians bore arms against Islamic jihads as well. And it was Christ and Christianity that united Portuguese Christians and Ethiopian Christians to defeat an Islamic jihad against the Christian kingdom of Ethiopia. And my third and my final point, because I know you value peace, but I want you to deal with this question, peace at what cost? Should we accept the trading of black children in Africa for the sake of peace? Should we accept the grooming of children in the north of England for the sake of peace? I answer no. Two minutes. <laughs> Now, again, I'm going to keep saying this to you. There is not one religion that doesn't advocate righteousness. There isn't one religion that doesn't condemn evildoers. So when you try and say this, again, you're, 
what you're doing is people are doing stuff and what you're doing is you're attacking them based on faith alone you're not asking where are they from is there is there a geographical location where these people come from no you're putting a belief system on and that is again very biased and not true it's very convenient for you to do but it's not fair that's what i'm trying to say because now as someone that's never been into the middle east you're going to now supersede middle eastern doctrine onto a faith <laughs> it is predominantly in the Middle East. Do you understand? And so that's very different. Yeah, I don't know. Of I mean, course, I'm myself, sure. yeah, I not would either. not. Let me find anyone that's yeah. a pedophile or anything. I know what I want. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I'm not someone that advocates for that. I'm not someone that will ever overlook something like that. And I'm aware it goes on. Again, there's no ignorance, there's no biasness. I, I bear witness. However, what my point is or my issue is right now is that rather than understanding that, like I'm saying, there are Christians right now that are in jail for Peter Fiddler. Some of the things Christ There are Christians right now, your brothers, that you have been raised under the same banner of faith. Rather than cleaning your own dirty laundry, you're masquerading like your house is clean and condemning other people's dirty laundry. Maybe because they may have a few extra socks on the floor. Yeah. That in no, itself no, I that. I is think very ignorant, very biased, and uh, I would like you yeah. to answer to why you do that. Is that on purpose Islam or is it on purpose? Yeah, so as a religion, I, I tend to, I'm not a Christian, but I lean to. Okay, so what I would say to you is that when we look at the life of Jesus and when we look at the life of Muhammad, they are light years apart. At a time when slavery was normal, Jesus never owned a slave. He could have and no one would have battered an eyelid, but he never owned a slave. Christians say Jesus is our example. So when we, for instance, it, when Christians owned a slave, they weren't listening or, or, or following the example of Jesus. But Muslims say that Muhammad is their example. So when Muhammad sold black slaves, that is an example to them. And, and this is the difference. I'm not denying that Christians do bad things. You're absolutely right to point that out. I'm not denying it in any way. But I won't attack a group of people. I make a distinction between what people do and what their religion teaches. There are lots of good Muslims who don't do bad things. But they do it because they're not following Islam. If they followed Islam, they would do a lot of bad things. But they don't follow Islam. And that is precisely why they're good people. But when you look at the people that are most de desirous as following the example of Muhammad with ISIS, and you might say, oh, that's extreme. But you look at the practices of ISIS and you compare those practices to the practices of the Ottoman Empire, which Muslims celebrate as a real Islamic empire, they are identical. They did the same things down to a T. The only difference is Muslims celebrate the Ottoman Empire but condemn ISIS. That's my two minutes. Hey, that was a powerful that's build. Hey, that's a powerful build. How are you doing, Bob? How are we doing? I'm, I'm in the middle of a debate, right? Oh, all right, sorry. That conversation. You, you definitely oh, it was good. Yeah. That last one. Good. Yeah. Yeah, he smoked it. Smoked it. What, brother, you, you are a thoroughly yeah. lovely yeah. human being. Yeah, thank you. Really, you are. I see what you're doing. And, and, and I completely appreciate the, the civilized, kind, respectful way that we've, we've conducted this dialogue. And I would encourage you, bro, to, to go away, watch this video again, and every point that I make, research it. And if in your own study you discover, you discover, and, and this is why we end up shouting, because you've got, you've got these Muslims that just can't respect free speech. But I would encourage you that if what I've said is confirmed by your own study, that you have the courage to take this Muslim label off and to look again at Christ, who is our example, and to ask yourself, who is Jesus to me? Do I want to be his follower? Do I want to follow him and be a disciple of him rather than a disciple of Muhammad? 
and, and I would just leave that thought with you. You're amazing. Yeah, it was a, it You're actually going to win. his first time as well, so he... Well, congratulations, you know. That, that's how debate should be. Now, I always give people a gift or I have a nice conversation too. So I'd like to... Have you got a Bible? You don't? No, I do. Of course I've got a Bible. You have a Bible. Brilliant. Then, because you're a man of study, I'd like to give you a, a book on theology. Read the book of Hebrews. And this is a book on theology that goes through Hebrews, looks at Hebrews. That is my gift to you. Merry Christmas. It was really nice to talk to you. What's your name, bro? Sorry? Sheridan. Sheridan. I'll be going on cameras, S man. Okay, okay, right. I'll have to edit that bit out. From Babylon 5. You guys remember that series or am I just too old? No, I don't know. Babylon 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Think about what we said. Watch that video again. What's your channel? Easy Herbs. What? Easy, easy Herbs, all right. Would you have any objections if at some point in the future I take that the clip of this video and put it on my own channel? I'll get a week so that people land on your channel first, because usually a video has about a week's turnover. And then I'll take it from your channel and put it on mine. Is that all right? Easy Herbs. No, I'll remember. I'll see it. Yeah, all right. No problem. All right. No problem. It was nice to meet you, S-Man. Bob. 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 Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Until I'm, next I'm time. I'm so grateful that you were like the first person I ever got to like. The yeah. Nah, he came. No, you come to the right person. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I come here for more health and science. That's why my name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do with health and science. Yeah. Okay. But there's no one here to speak to you. You know what I mean? I can do with the African philosophy, but I, I'm not really in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really need it. So yeah. I, like, I, like, I like the comfort that you both have. Yeah. So have, have a think about what we said. Yeah. And if you got any questions, we'll you back. come back and we'll talk again. Yeah. All right. God bless you, S man. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, easy herbs. Yeah, yeah, easy herbs. I look out for it. Yeah, of course. It'll come back to me. You're going to be around, aren't you? Yeah, and until until a bit later today. I'm going to do a talk now. Oh, are you? So yeah. you're going to be busy for quite yeah. a while? Yeah, 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 but come and grab us when you, when you say I'm free. Don't be no frightened. Worries, no Don't worries. be shy. Yeah, yeah. 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 So um, I was talking to S-Man. Okay. Um, he's a really lovely guy. First time in the park. Um, and like a lot of people, he's kind of, he's been influenced by the strength of Islam in our society. And that needs to be a wake-up call to Christians that People are identifying with Islam purely upon its sociological strength. And Christians, this is why we need a muscular Christianity. But ultimately, we were talking about, you know, should a person follow Jesus Christ or should a person follow Muhammad? And as you saw from the arguments, you know, Christians have really good grounds, moral grounds. We didn't get into much doctrinal grounds. But we did on some, particularly around the Messiah. We've got good grounds to reject Islam. Islam doesn't understand what the Messiah is. Islam justifies a religious apartheid. Islam justifies a slave trade. But when we look at Jesus, we don't find those things. And we look at the New Testament and it understands what the Old Testament says about the Messiah. And so I would encourage you, if you're one of those people like Esman, that is searching for truth and has been influenced by Islam, have the strength to reject something that is worthy of your rejection. If you, the black community, can condemn my ancestors for trading in slaves and your right to do so, then you should also condemn Muhammad for trading in slaves.